In this video, we will learn how to minify CSS on your WordPress or non-WordPress website. So this is also another episode of Core Web Vital and if you have run the website and you may have come across this minify CSS error or maybe it has passed your audits and there may be a potential savings where you can minify your page size or compress your page size by minifying CSS or which is the style sheet files on your website or WordPress or non-WordPress website. So what is minify CSS and why you actually need it? See, CSS is, uh, you know, it's a style sheet of your website. The way you design your website, it has all the rules in it. Like, in, for example, here is my CSS file, which is uh, main.css. As you can see, these are the files which represent different elements on our web page, on our page, right? So why you need to minify CSS and what does it has impact on technical SEO or SEO aspect, right? And to know that, what does Minify CSS do? Minify CSS just compress your CSS file such that it will have a higher loading web pages and it does impact on your first contextual paint. And how it does is, it does like if you have a file like here and it has a size of like 100 KB, okay, and if you minify it, it may drop up to 80% of compression. So, how it actually looks is what minification does is it will delete every space tab from your css rule and it will look like a messy style sheet just like if i just go to the view page source and there are um, minified css files like here this is select.min.css as you can see style sheet will be look like this from this to this so you must be wondering why you need to do that or the main reason is to reduce the size of your css file and it is actually very important to do so because it helps you to reduce your loading time. So now you must be wondering how to minify your CSS file in your non WordPress website. See if you have a static website or if you have a one page or landing page or something like that, you can easily do that if you have access to your FTP folder of your website. So if you don't know how to do it, you can just follow this video around. And if you need a help with Core Web Vital, then you can just contact our services. Link will be given in the description box. So what you can do is just go to webby.com and look for the SEO tools just like in the header and afterwards search for the CSS and here's the CSS minifier plugin or a tool. So what you need to do is just download your CSS file like here if I go to my file manager in the sources section these are my CSS file either you can download it or you can just copy and paste it on there like here it is not minified right now let me just copy it all by ctrl plus a ctrl plus c and just paste down here as you can see currently it is not being minified and if i click on submit let's see how much size it reduced so as you can see the original file is about 93 kb and it has been reduced to 72 kb you may be wondering it's not that enough but you will be surprised what i'm going to tell you in the next coming minutes what you need to do is just copy that and paste right in your style sheet and save it and upload it again to your ftp folder so that way your files will be minified and the best practice is to rename your css file like here like new main and rename it with the main because it's the best practice is to do so and it tells your coder or even if, if you are editing something and you will be get to know that these files are minified so i suggest you to add the main keyword into your file so now you must be what about the thing i was going to tell is why you actually matter these kb files even a 20 kb file because if you search for google bot and 50 mb thing uh, which i have discussed in uh, google images seo video you should look for it where i have given 10 steps to rank your images in google images search engine so here i have been to told then to use a image format for web image file which is a webp and there we have discussed that google only fetch 15 or i would say first 15 mb of your website so if you go to the official documentation of a google search console's blog and there it says namely we have documented that google bot only ever sees the first 15 megabytes when fetching a certain file types and what are the search file types these are the search file types which is a pdf file ott file which is the font file and all the JSON text file and XML file etc so it only fetch 15 MBs of that so you should make it low as possible such that it will increase your chance or it will increase your chance of your web pages to index more in their search engine and it will benefit 
your ranking in google so that's about it and if it it is a questionnaire here you can just go to this documentation which i will leave in the description box so that's why you actually need to minify your css file and for the wordpress part you can either add any plugin to it or you can do it just the way we have done right now and just go to your admin plugins add new and afterwards you can search for minify css just search for the minify there are actually various plugins out there but i think if you have a cache plugin any cache plugin relative to three total cache plugin live speed cache then you will be able to minify your css but i suggest you to use wp rocket as we have done in previous video so you can go to the settings here in the settings part file optimization menu and here is your selection which is the minify css which will remove all the white space and comments from to reduce the file size and you can also have an option to combine css files as such that it won't have any impact on your data fetching and here is the optimized CSS delivery which you know render blocking which we have done in the previous part so that's how you can do it just by clicking on one button so it will minify your css files just instantly so i hope you know get to know how to minify your css file just like that and if you have learned something from this video click the like button if you have questions in your mind like how to create a css file and how to minify it without any errors or something like that if you have incurred something error just by watching my video and implying on your website then you can just use the comment box and if you want to watch more videos like this then you have a subscribe button just click on that because it will boost our all to post more and more videos like this so see you in the next video until then bye bye